Apologetic Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when Jason comes back. Oh, yeah. Because uh I don't know. We miss Jason when he's gone. I Jason miss misses us. Too. Jason misses us when he's gone. I do. But again, like we said last week, it's not for a lack of trying. Because Jason has been here to record a couple times I and have. they <laughs> have they have not been aired. Yes. And so it hurts my feelings. Well, you know, <laughs> I you'll know, see that's the thing. Like before I contacted Ruben to come the on missing today, files. The missing files. Which by the way, uh special guest today is our homeboy Ruben. Uh he's in the house today. And uh, we'll get uh we'll get to some things with him here in a minute. But before I contacted Ruben today, I thought, man, Jason and I should do a show together and reconnect. We should. I, I honestly, when I came in here, I thought it was just going to be me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> all right, I could do this. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> However, <laughs> we'll we'll take care of that one day and uh, give us some time to reconnect. Yeah. Because I get I get frustrated. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it's not not totally 100. Like maybe. 20 percent your fault yeah, I'll, take, I'll take 40 <laughs> okay all right cool there you go compromise <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. That, compromise that's what it's all about that's what we do here we compromise <laughs> i guess but uh anyways what y'all got going this weekend anything fun anything interesting um not really what's today saturday today is saturday actually I guess for me a lot of things going on well i mean i'll see you stay busy yeah. normally on sundays i uh Referee flag football in uh, Matt's league out at Kennedy. Mm -hmm. So, and then tomorrow's like uh, Daniel's premiere of the night league. Oh, yeah. So, um, Jason and I might make a showing to that. Because yeah, yeah. you know, because you know, I retired, right? I've seen something on that on Facebook, but you can't believe everything you see on the internet. So, exactly. so I don't really, you know, but I heard. I so, look, heard, this isn't going to be one of those, like Jesse called it last week, a uh, retire on Facebook just to get some likes and some comments. Yeah, like, yeah. This is for real, for real. So, like, when I played softball all those years, mm -hmm. when I finally quit playing softball, like, I was done, done. Like, I like there was just a feeling with me. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to miss this at all. Right. That's kind of right. that's kind of where You already I'm, did your thing with it. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like, I'm, I'm but, done, done. But with flag? Yeah. I just... No, after I heard some of the backstory behind it, yeah, you should have been done years ago. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so Jason, Jason got here a little. And, early. and what is that like? I know, like it's between y'all two, but is that like? But is it like because due to injuries or like some things other than or like? like why he's, the reason he's quitting? Is that what you're yes, it's like football. Yes, like injuries. Uh, injuries, you know, because I'm old. There's a, there's a lot of people that are old. My, my, dude, I've got the bone structure of a. I I am. I man. feel the same way. You, my bones are terrible for my age. You've seen me limping around work. You've seen me <sighs> limping around the fields. But I thought that was just like because you're a pimp. Like that's like your pimp limp. Like you walk with the strut. You know. It helps. <laughs> the pain helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but those yeah, yeah but that, this little strut. Not it's not really a limp. It's like a. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Dip. You walk in the dip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> there's also a a money element to it. Yes. Especially uh, being in charge of a team. Running a team. Right. You put a lot more money in than just your 25 bucks for a tournament. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, yeah. And that started to just got old. You know, it didn't, you know, it didn't here lately, you know, put me in a bind or anything or whatever. I mean, it is, yeah. it is what it is. But. I'm not enjoying myself, but I'm still spending money on it. Yeah. When I could, when I could take that money and pour it into something that I enjoy. Right. That makes you happy. Like what we're doing right now. Right. 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 What you like? You know. So, you know, just kind of a it was kind of a reevaluation mm -hmm. of life and priorities. 
Plus, y'all both know Riley. Yes. I think it's his turn, man. It's his, yeah. It, you know, it's been, it's been his turn. You know, it just True. just gotta gotta get him into it and and pass uh, the torch down. Oh yeah, yeah. Let him take it and and go. But uh, yeah, but Jason and I might make a little cool. Make a little uh, I, uh, showing tomorrow. Heard the Grinches are in the night league, so they are. It's not we anymore. It's they. I told Jay. Oh. I told. I told. They them. are. They, they are. are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Um, they're gonna have to pick a new name. Like, there's no members of the Grinches left. Is that true? Is that factual? It was uh, Jason. It was me, Jason, and Jones. Yeah, is Jones in the, on that Grinch team? He is not. They can't take them. That's the reason why I didn't like continue on with the Grinches. Because why is we that? Started adding like different See, people, like different that, elements. Jason. I'm like a loyal guy, like. You want to play like, with who was riding there. Exactly. Or they're like, hey, play with this team. Like, no, no, no. I want to beat that team. With- you know, you know no, what? no, no. I want to <laughs> beat that team. <laughs> yeah. no, no KD going on over here. Uh, super teams. Exactly. Trying to stack up. You know what? I like that. I think I am going to reach out to him and be like, I need to change the name. Yeah. Y'all can be, who? The, y'all can be the Scrooges. Yeah, there you go. Or Before that, you can yeah. Be, you can be, helpers. Yeah, y'all can, be yeah. The, y'all can be the Cindy Lou Who's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. But you need to change the name. Change the name. I'm down. And fair. and who did you? JC said he'd take it over. So I just said whatever. I sent him a list of who, who all has paid for league and who's showing up and whatever. And this is your this is your remaining balance. Yeah. Pay it to Daniel. And he said cool. So just kind of yeah. Kind of wash my hands of it, you know. Yeah. Here, here's what it's like running a team. So the uh, San Antonio Cindy Lou's are making their uh, making their debut. Their tonight. debut tomorrow. We still wish some luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, you know, That's every, every, Just every once, every once in a while, they can call me. Hey, come play center for us this weekend, and I might think about it. Yeah, but I need a sponsor. I need y'all to pay for me. Yeah, because all the years that I've that um, I've paid for someone else man, to play. Once you told me you were doing, once I heard, you didn't even tell me. That's what kind of a nice guy you are, actually. Because I would have been complaining a long time yeah, ago. That's I very heard true. this from like he goes to the some, same gym as Brock. Yeah, he's like we play basketball together. Uh huh. So he told me he's like Adam's gonna quit. I was like, yeah, you know, kind of like you. I kind of I read some things about it, but he's not gonna quit. Yeah. And he started breaking down like the money element. I'm like, dang, I didn't know he was doing that. Like, no, that's you playing with grown men. Like, I've only known. Yeah. I've only known Brock for probably six months. Oh really? Uh, you think so? It's yeah. like a little longer. Yeah. Well, like you've gotten to know him. Well, I feel like when I met Brock as well, like we played flag football, but I think shit, he's he's been right. Excuse me. He's been riding with us for a long time. He uh, Grinches, uh, Raging Ponies. Right. Really I met him. I met him that f- first time right after the tournament when JC and Jazz helped the Raging Ponies in the playoffs, mm-hmm. and that's when you got him to run that tournament with us. Yeah. When we beat the Benjis. I remember. That was the first time I met met him. Oh yeah. Like I knew who it was. Yeah. He just. Didn't and know. uh oh, from since you know from then until now you know i've really gotten to know him mm-hmm. like that like that kid yeah he's a he's a good guy he's uh i like him a lot too he's definitely too good to be running with raging ponies and grinches he needs to be running with somebody else that can actually use him yeah you know but i think that i what i like about him too like his personality and like mentality wise and flag football is just that um he's not like that I don't know if it's because he's like really mature for his age. Because I know absolutely, he, he's like really young. I thought he was my age, but that guy will like never talk. Like you know, like I talk a lot. Yeah, like that guy just like good mood, bad mood. He's like a short kawaii. Like he just didn't say anything. Yeah, he's a competitor. Even when I play, like I said, I know him from playing basketball. Now that I think of it, Josh is the reason I know him because Josh used to go to the gym with us as well. So mm-hmm. just playing basketball, you you meet people at the gym. And I guess I've known yeah. him for like that, two or three years now, and he, every interaction's been cool. He's like I said, he competes for sure, but he's like a he seems like a good guy. Yeah, and the thing about him is, last week you know we were in San Marcos and we were playing Evo and Rick Ball and Demi, and you know they he had a something happened. I don't even remember what happened, but they were yeah. they were kind of razzing him, talking talking garbage to him, and he just kind of yeah just kind of blew it off. Blew it off. Just like and I was like, man, that's so I like that kid. Yeah, but uh, anyway, speaking of San Marcos. We had your buddy Jesse on last week. Yep. And, I heard, uh, heard of the show. The morning uh, after I posted the show, you get on Facebook to 
I didn't even know you were back on Facebook. I know you took. A I don't run. even know if I am back on Facebook. You took a you took a hiatus. I know, but then I saw disappointed with the podcast. I took, but at least I got a mention. Yeah, and I don't know anybody else who does podcast. <laughs> that knows it you, was so. uh, as not as subliminal as I thought it was. It was definitely directed towards this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> so I took it as such. So I texted Ruben. I said, "Hey, man, want to come on and uh, say your piece?" Because yeah. uh, I needed to defend myself, man. There yeah, was yeah. there were some truthful things in there. There were some questionable things in there, untruthful things. So so let's. So one thing we do here is we put names on everything. So yeah, we're not gonna be subliminal about nothing. So no, yeah. Say your piece. Um, I mean, the show last week. You know, their guest was uh, Jesse Jimenez, and I felt he may have said some things that uh, you know, were true or untrue but you know you know i didn't come on the show to back talk on anyone or right. put anyone down or disrespect anyone but i think just for me and him knowing each other i think a lot of it has to deal with on the football field yeah like just strictly flag football so if we went if we went to pluckers uh -huh. we're hanging out you me marcus jesse uh-huh y'all are good like going to Pluckers right now, like after the show, or like right now we're going to Pluckers to hang out. There's yeah, not going to be any animosity. Everything's good since we're away from the football field. Is what I'm saying. Could you do that? I see, and that's the thing. I could do that. Uh -huh. I think the only one who maybe couldn't. I mean, and that's just you know words being spoken. Right. It would probably just be Jesse. Mm -hmm. I feel like Marcus is already at the point where it's just like. All right, it's whatever. Like, like, R Ruben's not doing this. I'm not doing that. Like, Ruben's who he is. I'm who I am. Yeah. And here we go. Yeah. I like that. And then I feel like Jess, it's like, because he said I was negative. That's actually one of the biggest things that didn't like hurt me. But is that like, is that how you see me? Is that how mm -hmm. you perceive me? Is this how others perceive me? Am I, am I, uh, am I that negative to you in flag football? Again, this isn't you know outside. This isn't personal life you know type stuff it's just like do i like make you hate me am i that big of a deal to you that much like in flag football that now like we have to fight after like and i, and I think that's what adam was kind of getting at he's trying to see if like if it is just a football thing or is it an outside football yeah thing? and that's to my yeah. understanding was that's just how jesse uh views me sees me as a negative but the whole like oh you know like ruben talks too much he needs to you know shut up like that's just a personality thing and like he said he says that that was like my uh excuse or like my you know illusion as to you know me being likable me being personable friendly whatever it's just like bro i to you on the flag football field that's just where it's gonna stay like that's just where it's gonna be like you know you're not this and that or you know you know this doesn't apply to like real life like i feel like people like i guess playing you know it's just you know something that they all we do you know it's something that we enjoy we take seriously but yeah. i just think people can go as far as taking it you know too seriously so here's yeah. what we're gonna here's what we're gonna do next uh-huh i've had you both on separate yeah yeah what we're gonna do is bring you on together <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's we'll, fine uh, we'll doctor feel this thing man yeah no and, uh, i think it i think we it, we'll fix it, relationships it, highly on and you know what man. but i must say and what's one of the cool things about uh doctor feeling it is just um you know having that little minor issue i think the reason why i was even comfortable playing on ham in the san marcus weekend was the fact because i already had personally me and marcus had been messaging but um even in laredo like regardless of what was going on what went down like there was no words spoken but we were already cool at laredo like we didn't talk like i was you know officiating i didn't play but you know fortunately for me i got to referee most of the san antonio teams so I refereed the Grinches. I refereed, um, I don't think I got to referee Ham, but I saw them play. Like I got to like physically see them play. Yeah. And you know, we're all from San Antonio, man. Like, um, you know, Daniel, you know, he has that uh, 2 and 0 affiliated company. It's, I mean, you know, it's cliche, but you know, as much as companies are, you know, um, you know, it's not like a brand or, you know, it's like a movement type thing. And I feel like that's exactly like factual what that is for the flag football community. Like, you know, we're not as many, we're very few, but like we all, you know, 
talk to each other, hang out. Like that is making it outside of flag football. Yep. But for me, those are all po positive things. Those are all positivity things. Yeah, we may not go do it and hang out with each other, but necessarily for me, that doesn't mean like, I mean, just because you don't hang out doesn't mean I don't want to, yeah. or I hate you, or like, I but think, I don't know. I Like I said, I don't have a problem with them. I think it'll be a good show because I like both of y'all. Like me all, too. I like all three of y'all. <laughs> I like all three of y'all. So... <laughs> Uh, no, I like Jesse, and Jesse's really funny too. That's no, why. That's dude, why I miss when I miss us being cool because it's just like he has his sense of humor, and like I enjoy it. I don't know. Yeah, and that's what like the that part of the show last week was was kind of upsetting. I'm not gonna get mad at somebody else's feelings, but yeah, yeah. Once it got past that, Jesse was hilarious. Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. The rest of the show. Yeah, but yeah, I'm sure he just like I said, um, like when I heard it too, like I wasn't even upset. I was just like, oh, I'm sure that's just stuff like he's wanted to get off his chest. Yeah. Like he's probably just. Hey, I'll give you an avenue, man. If you ever and anybody listening, if y'all ever got anything you need to get <laughs> off your chest, you holler at me. Jason and I will bring you on. Yeah, and... this is like a taxi cab confessional, but I don't know what that is. But... <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's late night on. Yeah, HBO. it's on HBO. Yeah. I guess uh, only. Oh, late night. On yeah. HBO. Uh, yeah, only the bad kids know it. Yeah. Know a taxi cab and your and your uh, your last channel button was to Nickelodeon. Exactly. No, nah, mine was Disney Channel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't let my mom know that. So, so mine was Disney Channel. She wouldn't suspect anything. Moms know everything. Man. Mom, they knew. <sighs> they knew. Probably, and know. Pastel Poppy knew too. Oh, yeah. Pastel <laughs> Poppy, what's up, Dad? <laughs> Related birthday. Happy. Oh, when was his birthday? Fourth of July. Was it really? Fourth of July. A triplet on the fourth of July. Hey, we were nice. celebrating you, Pastel Poppy. He was in Vegas. Happy birthday to you, sir. He was in Vegas. He was in Vegas bring by it? himself. Oh man! Didn't take your mom with you. <laughs> don't want to even go any deeper than that. Yeah. Living, his, living his best he, life he out there. His 68th birthday. 68, big himself. 68. And it was an earthquake in Vegas the Hello. same day. Okay, nice. cool. Celebrating, living large. Pastel mm -hmm. poppy on the fourth. <laughs> oh yeah. As we've been doing the past 68 years. That's right. So, uh, NBA free agency is blowing up. Yeah, it is. So here's my thing. Baseball free agency is my favorite. Here we go. Okay. However, how do we stop it? Into how, baseball, uh, stop I know. It. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. However, he like open like base basketball. However, baseball. come on, let me go. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. This NBA free agency is kind of exciting, and I'm y'all know me. I'm not a basketball guy. Right. Yeah. Like I'm more of a basketball guy than a baseball guy, but that's that's still not saying that's much. But yeah. So, I was in a van last week with. Mr. Oh. Hill, another mm -hmm. staff man named Mr. Javon. Okay. And technically in the van with Jason as well. Jason was on speakerphone. Okay. I was. And they were talking about NBA free agency. Mm -hmm. You can probably count on both of my hands how many words I said. Fingers left over. I didn't. <laughs> I was just like, oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers left over. But it's interesting. Yeah, right. So here's what I want to get into right now. Mm -hmm. Rosters right now. Clippers, Lakers, who wins right now on the court? Not on Do base. you have your own opinion and you're waiting for us to give ours or you're just asking? Uh, I, I have. A, yeah, I, I, I've said my opinion. In, so. your, in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so. I'll go first just because I feel like Jason probably has more knowledge than me in this, you know, professional wise. But I'd want to say, uh, I mean, I would say Clippers. Me too. Okay. I would take Clippers. Yes. How so? Clippers. Absolutely. So did you just wait for everyone to say Clippers? Like, well, I was going to say no, Lakers. He said, he no. Said, no, he said Clippers First last week. One yeah. thing you'll know is I'm not a huge LeBron guy. Okay. As, as is. Yeah. Okay. But I feel like the Kawhi Leonard and and, and and Paul George duo. Yep. You can't. There's nothing you can do with that yeah. duo. Yeah. But there's more, and and there's even more to it because yeah, yeah, yeah because definitely. Because once somebody's sitting down, Lou Williams is coming on. Mm -hmm. You know, you still you still have mm -hmm. pieces. Yeah. yeah. My argument was, LeBron don't want to be the guy anymore. LeBron needs somebody to, to come in and. I think that's what. How old is LeBron? Like age age thirty five. Yes. Like he's not pushing retirement, but he's slowing down definitely. He is. He is. Um, yeah, yeah. I feel like he's not. He's not ready for 
retirement, I'd say. But I think he's definitely at the level that you're at right now. Like, con- like contemplating, like, passing it down. But as to where, like... He's still in the league, I guess, but he's doing what he's been doing for years, like like getting trades done, like trying to build a team. I feel like he still wants to be that guy, but not be the guy anymore. I think, I think I, Jason said something the other day. Was it? It made. I don't know if it was you or if it was Javon. Said something along the lines of. LeBron does not want to be the guy, but he wants to be the guy. Like he wants mm-hmm. to. He right. wants, I can see that. He wants to be the guy, sitting. In the middle quarters, getting his rest, coming in fourth quarter, making some shots, possibly a game winner, and then soak up the glory. And then soak up the glory. He want he wants the glory. Yeah. But he doesn't want to put in the four quarters of right, work right. of glory. I think he wants to put in three and a half quarters. I just think he doesn't really want parts of that end of the game action, and that's why he likes. At as of late. I guess late is like 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> he likes having other people there to help close the deal right. with him. Now, currently under the, the current Lakers roster, there's nobody else that I see that's going to close the game out. It's going to be on LeBron to close it out. They're switching him to point guard now, so that's a new uh, – I mean, he's always kind of been a point guard as far as facilitating, but now this is his position. Right. I feel like – how much help do you need like every like every year you hear a story about him being the best player of the league and the reason being is he can bring trash and make him he's like you know like a cinderella story like take a pumpkin and make him to like can he though right so last year they missed the playoffs right well lebron got hurt okay cool he came back before all-star break with 30 games left and in the, in the playoff hunt in the AC and they ended up being the 10th seed with yes. LeBron yes well so and so was hurt well blah 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 okay well when he was in the east we didn't care he still made it he still made it all the way to the finals now you're in the west and you got these these other teams that are just uh, more com- more competition yeah, west, west is competitive. best you can't just limp into the finals let alone the playoffs right. in the west Right, so because of that, he went from the best player in the league to the second best player. So who's the best player? I think KD is the best player in the league. Do you? I, I think he was been the second best player in the league for like the last and I, I've heard six that or seven years. Statistic wise, statistically, because numbers generally don't lie. KD is my favorite Twitter follow because yeah, he's gonna say something. Because he's gonna because <laughs> he'll reply to you. No, oh, yeah, he's yeah. clapping back. Yeah. Any anybody who and it doesn't matter if he's on his KD account or one of his yeah, thirty four burner accounts. Yeah. He's going to say something back, and I like it. Yeah, he, he's finally comfortable in, in, in himself, comfortable enough to not care what people have to say. Right. Took so, him a while. Yeah. So who's the third best player? Where's Kawhi fit in? Kawhi is number three. Kawhi, is Kawhi is, I think he's he has to be. Does does he he has to be like has to be? Because yeah, I mean, a, for me, I, if it, where where am I going? Yeah, he, <laughs> Greek freak, right? That's yeah, what yeah, yeah. Say. That's what that's where I'm going. No, nah, not enough, uh, not enough experience in the league, but it's definitely a player to watch and follow, and can you know? To, you can get there. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. If if someone were to argue that the Greek freak was the third best player in the league, I would entertain it, and the only reason I would. I would. I would entertain o- only it. as high as three. Yes, I'm not going any higher than three. And the reason neither being, would I. The reason why I still have LeBron at two is just body of work. Like LeBron has literally been in deep in the playoffs outside of last year for like the last 15 years. So you got to give him that. <clears throat> the only reason I had him drop down last year is because his numbers actually are about the same. Actually. These have been the highest numbers he's had in the last three or four years. So his numbers actually haven't really dropped at all, even though it seems like it. But now he's getting injured. You never see LeBron miss 17 games from injury. Right. Now they're not making Facts. the playoffs. Like those are stuff that contributes to his greatness. So it does. It, him, it, it, uh, with it, him not doing the thing, and I feel like KD wasn't that far behind to begin with. So. Somewhat weakens the resume. Kawhi Leonard, he's hurt every other year. <laughs> like when's the last time you've seen him play? two straight years at an elite level he played he played the full year this year correct uh he played 60 games so what was wrong with him this year he started off the year i i guess they they were they were vacation they were trying to uh, (laughs) personal time they call it load management they were trying to like make it to where he doesn't play in back-to-back he wasn't playing in back-to-back games at the beginning oh okay smoking cbd with sergi baka that's probably what Kawhi was doing 
Yeah, out in it. Toronto. Yeah, that's cool. So I just feel like that's why I can't put Kawhi any higher than three because he's like literally he was the most well rested player in the league last year. And he only why, played nine games the year before. That's why he's blowing up for forty points a game in the playoffs. A game, yeah. And Kawhi in doesn't. Series, Kawhi was, doesn't talk. He I, he plays a psychological game. I was ex- I was exaggerating, but yeah, just yeah. To, one, one one game he had forty, I think two or three games, but. You can't, you can't, KD's literally been doing it for like 10 years. So the best part about this free agency so far is the Spurs reached an agreement with Mark, Marcus Morris. I've right. seen that. Almost. Did you see this? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And then he came in and reneged on the, on the agreement saying that I might sign with New York instead. Yep. That's not even my favorite part about it. The Spurs came back and said, that's cool. Never mind. Yeah. Go sign with them. And then put that money to whoever else they sign. Yeah. yeah Lyle, whatever. And uh, to me, uh, the team taking back control of the situation is my favorite thing. Because free agency, I feel like free agency has ruined sports. I hate free agency. I hate, it's entertaining mm-hmm. to say the least. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I brought up baseball. Free agency being my favorite because there's no salary cap in yeah. baseball. Yeah, and so you can spend half a billion dollars on one player, Yikes. and and still have still have money left over. Mm-hmm. You know, and when you hear and just pay them cheaper. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you don't necessarily have to do that because yeah. you're, you're getting t because no you're getting TV deals. Oh, wow, like. Like a few years ago, I did. I didn't really understand how the TV deals worked mm-hmm. until Albert Pujols signed that that huge two hundred and fifty million dollar contract with the Angels, ten years, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it was right behind a twenty billion dollar deal with Fox Sports. Oh, okay. You know, so yeah. there, there's money in baseball. Right, right. There's a ton of money in Getting baseball. Getting uh, television time. Right. So we're going to pay you $20 billion games for us to air your games. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so uh, that's why that's why baseball free agency to me is the is the most fun because they're, they're just – Sky's the limit. They're just shelling out cash. But you got teams like the Kansas City Royals who don't spend money. Yeah. And they're only going to be good once every 20 years. Yeah. But you got teams like the Yankees. Smaller yeah. city, smaller salary cap. Right. You yeah. got these big market teams, the right, Yankees, right. the Dodgers, the Angels, L.A., New York, whatever, mm. who are going to shell out. You know, they paid the Angels paid Mike Trout four hundred million dollars for the next twelve years. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a nice paycheck in, to have. What Los Angeles? That's, yeah, that's the area they're in. New York, right there. Mm-hmm. Their TV deals are going to be a little bit different than those small market teams. All right, can really. Yeah. Before to dish that up. And the thing about the thing about the Angels is they're in Anaheim. They're not even in LA. Okay. Angels fans don't want to claim LA. No. Well, they call us Anaheim again. We, you know, they used to be the Anaheim Angels. But it's that TV market. Yeah. yeah we're going to claim Los Angeles because we're exactly. we're in that yeah. market. So. But. Uh, Pay me to say a different name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But. I feel like the worst part about sports is when players have the control all the control Mm -hmm. and i say that in regards to uh like a basketball player like a like a Kawhi. maybe maybe he could have played uh when he was with the spurs yeah i'm I'm not gonna say one way or the other because i don't know right but you're gonna pay me anyway but i'm not gonna play right you know what i mean and and there's there's just too much control in the in the player's hands yeah instead of the employer's hand right i'm the one paying you though yeah like why yeah. what am i paying you for right that's what i hate about free agency yeah i feel like like you said the players have like really put it in their own hands as of late mm-hmm. historically you know even when big name players get traded it's like a sign and trade deal where you they sign with the team but then they trade for some players now in middle of contract a player can say hey I'm, i just want you to know next year i'm i'm leaving and y'all aren't going to get anything from me and it kind of forces their hand and again i'm a lebron hater i'm not a lebron hater but i think he's a big part of that like i feel like 
if we saw Jordan jumping from team to team, then you would see other players doing it, but you didn't. You yeah. saw all these like late greats, Larry Bird, all these guys play on the same team for 10, 12 plus years. So that's how the league, you know, that's how you stay competitive. Right. When you start teaming up, the overall product changes. And that's why the Warriors pretty much have dominated the last five years pretty much. And they would have won this year if, if it wasn't for injuries. Right. So it was good to see, like, you know, the the landscape of the NBA getting back even. Now it's only two stars per team right. pretty much. And it's like it's going to be competitive. The West is going to be super competitive. Right. I was listening to ESPN on the way, and they were saying they don't even pick the Warriors to be in the playoffs next year. Saw like, that. I, I That, to me, that's nuts. Like, you're taking away from, like – a dynasty almost. Yeah, you're you're dis that's disrespectful, really. That's disrespectful <laughs> because that same team has won a championship. Right. And Clay Thompson, he doesn't have an Achilles injury. This is ACL. So most likely he'll be back by Christmas, maybe all star break time. Draymond Green still there, even though I think he's a bum. He's he's great for that team. They picked up D'Angelo Russell. Steph Curry really has an opportunity to just shoot all day long so to say they're not going to make the playoffs i think that's just insane it is insane but that just shows how strong the the west is yeah and yeah. The, and and the crazy thing about control is i read an article today where chris paul is not even going to see a thunder uniform no they're going to buy gone. him out and give him a paycheck to not do anything and he's gone I think the Thunder, they're winning in this free agency, honestly. They they won in the sense of, man, they've got a ton of picks now. Like, literally eight picks from now until, like, 2026 right. or something like that. Right. And you got Paul George who requests to leave, so you don't want him to be disgruntled. So that means that him, that dynamic of him and Russell Westbrook isn't going to happen anyway. So that means you're not going to win a championship, which is the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. So get rid of these big contracts, save some money, get some picks, and you still have a, a – Decent young talent on the team still. So how's it gonna go in Houston, man? They, I, and I'll say this too, Daniel said it best. The closest thing to a pass is gonna be the tip off, bro. The so <laughs> these I, I have a friend. He was like, "Well, they they played together." I was like, "They played together like five or six years ago." First before of all. Harden was yeah, Harden, Harden was coming off the bench. Right. Okay, and then there was also this guy named Kevin Durant that right. was also there. So that kind of <laughs> takes pressure off these other two guys. So I feel like they're going to make it work because they like playing with each other. But I don't think this combination is better than Paul George and Russell Westbrook. I, I, Harden, you lose defense. Yeah, I was Tony, just about to say, I was like, well, you got he, five offensive guys, but you got four defenders. When yeah. Clint Capella is now, he's going to be, he's the tallest person on the team. So right. you don't really have anybody down low. They're thinking about getting Eagle Dollar out here, so that'll help. But I feel like it still doesn't make them any better than, like, four in the West if everybody's healthy. So yeah, well, can't wait. But this is also – this shows me that my team, the Brooklyn Nets, are cursed, okay? <laughs> this is evidence. Like, we got KD and Kyrie, right? And then now all of a sudden you see how many people are, like, teaming up. Boom, boom. Right. It was like, okay, we're finna – we're, we we're about to – we're about to get to the finals we went, in two years for sure. We went from trios to duos. Yeah, yeah. In, in the matter of what five years? Mm -hmm. Trios to duos. What are they? You know, big three, big two. Yeah, man. That's it. See, and that's why I respect the Spurs so much, and that's why I, that's why Tim Duncan's always going to be my favorite player. Yeah, drafted into the league by the Spurs. I mean, the story about him not going to Orlando because mm -hmm. they wouldn't let his wife on the plane. Yeah. I mean, okay, that's that's cool and everything. But, you know, he finished his career. Yeah. That's Imagine what, that him and T Tracy McGrady. Dude, that would have been stupid. Or Shaq? Was Shaq there? Nah, he wasn't Shaq there yet. He, he had already, already gone. But, you know, that's why it broke my heart last year when Tony Parker went to, to Charlotte. Yeah. Man, just retire. Yeah. Come on, man. Because Manu stayed his whole career. Duncan stayed his whole career. Now you got that one blip on your – yeah. On your career now, and it's called Charlotte. Yeah. You know, I heard that the reason that part of that was they wanted Brent Berry to be a, a, a commentator. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, with San Antonio. Okay. Like they wanted him to be like a whatever you call it. Like a spokesman. And, you know, the whole drama happened with, with Tony his wife. Parker and Brent Berry's wife. So yep. that was a stipulation for him coming back. And, you know, they're already phasing out of Tony Parker as it is. So, so they should have just, just retired, man. This money, 
That's how I feel. I feel that way about Vince Carter. Like Vince Carter is still playing. Like if I see him do another windmill during a pregame, <laughs> like I'm over it. Like just just go sit down. Cool, man. cool pregame windmill. He's collecting bro. that check, dude. It's I mean, it's it's like nothing. To these, at the end of the right. like this. To these vets, it's like a social security check, but to play ball. It's don't like, they, don't it's they, like, I'm going to get like 10 minutes, but I'm good because I'm it cashing works. out. I don't know how it works, but don't they uh, Don't they get some kind of pension or yeah. something after they after, after they like, leave the league? After like six or seven years, they have that set up mm. for them. Here's so, the, so you're like a president of the United States when you leave basketball? It's, yeah. It's a job. So here's my favorite thing. Do y'all know who Bobby Bonilla is? Does Bobby that mean anything? Does that mean anything to y'all? No, Bobby it, Boucher. It sounds familiar. Bobby but Boucher. <laughs> no. What is it? So, Bobby Bonilla, Bonilla used to play. Baseball player? He was a baseball okay, player. Yeah. He played with Bonds in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. uh, toward the end of his career, he manufactured a deal. I think it's with the Mets. And now every year on, I can't remember the specific date. It was a couple of, a couple of weeks ago. It's Bobby Bonilla Day. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. The Mets are still paying him. Yeah, he gets Dang. a he gets a million dollar check once a year from the from the Mets. It's one of my favorite days in sports. Yeah, but today. it's how he structured his deal, right? Bobby Bonilla got paid today Dang. for nothing. <laughs> yes, it's the way he structured yeah, his it, deal. He's and he's not the only player like that. There's an NBA player I can't remember, but it's the same thing. Like instead of getting all that money up front, right? They decided to spread it out throughout, and that takes it off there. Does it take it off there? Um, I think their taxes. No, not their taxes, but their their. Um, well, cause like if you get it in so much, like in a large sum, it's like you, you know what I mean? Like I, know? I can't remember what I just called it just now. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Uh, salary cap? I'm a pretend. Yeah, the salary a, cap. Yeah, it so doesn't it doesn't take out their salary cap. Yeah, I don't think so. Once he's no longer with the team. Well, I mean, even when he was with the team, they put it on. I guess as a retirement. Does yeah. it? Uh, Smart. He played it. Hey, he played it well. He don't. He doesn't have to do nothing. Ever, and he's. I think he's got a few years left. Yeah, Gilbert Arenas was like that. He he made like a hundred million dollars, and he played like twenty games, and then he got free money pretty much yeah. for the next three or four years. We're in the wrong business, boys. Yeah, dude. Man, and the NFL is so tough, man. Like you hear, you see, like legit, like people that are still like can play in the NFL, and they get released daily. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. you're you're pretty good. You you can go somewhere else right now. We yeah. got some young talent yeah. that we yeah. don't have to pay. And we that, got some faster, stronger yeah. guy. And it's it's always it's crazy to me to see the the payroll of the different sports. Like baseball's payroll, there is yeah. no there is no cap right, right. to to hit a baseball and, and run some bases. Right. But you got you got let me just say for example hockey. Hockey is the lowest of the four major sports, but they're yeah. putting their bodies true so that's, much. What, that's what i've always like been confused but i think more or less like when i was younger you know like child i was just like man like you know especially growing up now i feel like you know the human species like we're just so like naturally like just violent i feel like we would pay more to like see people like not right knock the crap out of each other and that's what just, it goes that's what it all comes down to is viewership yeah you know who doesn't want to watch that yeah i don't want to watch the hockey game i want to watch the fights right uh, i think the best movie I, mean? I saw that portrayed that was a movie uh, rollerball like it was just like it was like set in the future. The best and, hockey movie I ever saw was the My Mighty Ducks D two trilogy. Three? All of, all of them. Oh, all of them? All of them. Oh, yeah, that was a good series. Yeah, it was a great series. I think I think two is my favorite though. Which uh, that was the one where they are the, the Olympics? Yes. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. The I like sequel. I like three. I liked it when they were in school. Oh, and they're older? Yeah. I liked it. Yeah, that one was cool too. I liked going too, for sure. Because they were they were what, J V? And they were yeah. trying to get on JV some JV and like some prep school. Yeah, and then one of the one of the kids got moved up to varsity, and then they scrimmaged and banks. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good movie. Yeah, it's that's a real good movie. Now we good. we think about it, Jason, you got that look on your face like it's not. I like mean, I don't even remember D three at all. Do you remember Home Alone? Of course. I think they're making a new one. That's no a, way. That's a shame. Yeah. I how think. many Home Alones do you know of right now? No, without looking, how many Home Alones have you seen that you've known of? Uh, just the two. Three. Just the two. Three, right? Yeah. I have three VHSs. Okay, before y'all look up anything, y'all's phones or your computers. Hey, yeah, get Google segment. Here we go. Okay, but but just like you said, bef before, you know, prior to anything, how many do you think they are? You think there's three, right? Because you've seen the three, and it's like, why else? I know there's two with 
Macaulay Culkin, and then yes. everyone has a different. The little, oh, the yeah, little yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. right? Okay. And I know okay, the little yeah, kid. I that one. He has the bowl cut. His name's Alex. Okay. In yeah. Home Alone 3. So you're going to agree, too. Like, Home Alone 3 is what you know of. Mm-hmm. Okay. Google how many Home Alone movies there are right now. Here's the Google segment with Jason. Oh, no. We love this. This is it's our like favorite segment. Little, is it gonna be like and just so everybody knows, we did how not about, think of this as a topic. This is Yeah, we're freestyling let's, right now. Let's guess. Go ahead. You guess first. How many we did not talk is? about you this. You already know, right? I'm guessing. You already know uh, how many? And the only reason why I know, I want to shout out uh, my son. I... Um, uh, for legal reasons i have a fire stick at home and uh, we look, uh, and we and we looked up home alone my son is seven and was like dad i want to watch home alone okay so before we get into a number have you seen all of them though unfortunately i have oh no that means i a, have i want to say I, my guess is going to be seven mine's going to be six it looks like there's five is, is that correct from my knowledge and what i saw there's five. Oh wow so there's Home Alone, the original one, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, which is yes. my favorite one. Yeah. I like that one, and too. And those are still Macaulay Culkin. They yes. have Home Alone 3 with the... the yeah, kid, that kid's name is uh, Alex. Yeah. And you have a 2002 one called Home Alone Taking Back... Uh, taking Back Something. Uh, it's considered Home Alone 4, I swear to God, you could look it up. It's it's included in the... Hey, we believe you, Rufin. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 man, I, I'm there, not making there was up. Actually, no, there was one that was made in 2012. What? Yeah. Yes. Let me see what... And world. what's crazy is I feel like, uh, I know, um, you know, comic books and Home Alone are different topics, but um, I feel like that Home Alone 5 was weird. I feel it was like... Uh, <laughs> like multiverse type stuff because because the kid's name is still kevin for some reason he didn't age and this is home alone five he didn't age but his parents are divorced and his dad is talking to like some stuck up uh, rich younger lady and i feel like that's not even like really and you and they open with that i was like this isn't really a family oriented like christmas comedy movie that yeah. i want to see like the dad's alone. just dating some fast chick who has a lot of money <laughs> and like skipped out on the family <laughs> on buzz and the sister yeah buzz buzz's girlfriend Woof. <laughs> yes dude all of that i was yes. like what so it's called home alone the holiday heist the holiday heist and yes it came out in 2012 dog and the guy who plays harry is uh <laughs> i don't know what his name is but he came out on 30 rock from the sun or he plays inspector gadget on part two uh, uh, yeah you're, I don't get, know you're, you're getting into movies sorry and, you sorry know, i'm, I'm a movie a, guy i'm not a movie guy but that guy is harry on home alone and he should have been like yeah, older crazy. Or, i don't know how do y'all how do y'all feel about movie remakes like like sometimes what do they call them reboots, reboots. They, they call them reboots right, right, right. reboots sorry I'm not I'm movie not, buff. Taking back the house is taking four, back the house. Number four. I'm not a fan of reboots. I can there, agree to a certain extent. So there, there's there's been a couple of reboots that I have enjoyed. The first one being True Grit. Okay, that's a, that's a that, West, what is that? A TV series? It's a, no, it's a it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a, it was a it was a John Wayne. Movie, oh, okay. Movie first, and then it never was, seen it, and then it was. Um, my, I can't. I Probably wasn't alive yet. I haven't seen you, you were. It was. No, it's, it's, yeah. The, the newer the newer one just came out. You know, within the last ten years. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it nah, was. It was I, I'll make sure to see it. It was Jeff Bridges and Matt Damon. I wanted to. Okay. See it, okay. And basically, what it is 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 this little girl's dad gets murdered, and she hires Jeff Daniels or John Wayne to mm -hmm. go, you know, collect the bounty. Oh, you okay. know, for yeah. this guy, and it's it's pretty funny movie. It pretty funny, but but good at the same time. Yeah. And then the other reboot was the Magnificent Seven. Okay, yeah. that's the, the one on Netflix, right? That or was no? that was the one with Denzel's the uh, bounty hunter as well. Okay. And he picks up all these. Uh, he picks up Chris Pratt. Okay. Uh, to to you know fight these fight yeah these people and it was it was a pretty good one. Okay. So those are my two favorite. Yeah. Other than that, reboots just they're not my thing, man. So a reboot is like them making the same exact movie again, so right? What, that's not like with the Spider Man and then doing Spider Man again. That's not considered. No, a that's that. Yeah, that's just a series. Got it. You know, but the reboot is. Yeah, those doing are it again. right. But but, you know, that some aspects of it are going to be different. Like the right, the Magnificent Seven one. I think it was uh, 
it was more um, down on a Me- the Mexican border. Okay. You know, and they're they're you know I I, I don't I, I can't even remember. Yeah. You know, because I watched it. Yeah. But I was so not into it. Right. Mm-hmm. Because I watched it after I watched the newer one. Yeah. And I was like, the newer one is definitely better. Yeah. <laughs> and this is trash. So I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. But, you know, we talked about them doing the live action Disney's. Which That's I'm a, tough for me, like dude. I, which I'm a big fan of for the most part. Yeah. But reboots, I know Jason hates it. I just feel like they were great at what they were. I mean, I could understand making them, you know, live action, but it's just like... Some of them. Yeah. Like, I don't understand them making, like, like a Little Mermaid a live action. Black yeah. Ariel? Like, because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm happy for Black Ariel. Black Ariel? How y'all feeling about Black Ariel? I, I'm down with it. Mm-hmm. I'm down with it. I, what about you, Ruben? I don't think there's anything opposed to it. As people because, really hate this because here, <laughs> yeah yeah like yeah no really no yeah I've but, definitely seen some some things. But here's my here's my thing about people getting mad with Black Ariel. Mermaids aren't real, so right. you can make her whatever color you want. It, it, what difference does it make? Right. It's like it's. I think it's like. I really feel like it's, it's deeper than that. I feel like it's like a standpoint where you don't want your kids to like, almost get. I don't know. I don't, for lack of a better term, like involved with like a black character being huh. being the head. So right. It's like, nah, I don't really want you to have a black <laughs> Ariel doll. That's not really. <laughs> no, you know, mommy and daddy are not black. <laughs> you know, I, I feel like it's that deep. We'll get you one of the rooted. retro Ariel dolls. Here, watch this movie. It, yeah. With exactly. white, watch now this version think, with white yeah. Ariel. I think that's what they're making now. The dilemma to be is because like because uh, now all of a sudden it's a significant change. It's not even like a. And I almost feel like Hollywood is kind of doing that on purpose. I think now. they are too. Like it has it has to be. Like they're they're casting more black actors into predominantly white roles. Yeah. You know, like uh, like Nala is Beyonce. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Charles Gambino is Simba. So here's my here's my. Danny Glover, so here's yeah. The, Donald Glover. I'm seeing all the people get mad at. Beyonce is Nala and all this stuff. Yeah. But my thing is, Beyonce's coming in to do this movie, and she's going to try to be the star. Lion King was not about Nala, so take a, <laughs> take a step back. Yeah. <laughs> take a step back for once. <laughs> See, and let and let Simba go. That's perce- that's that's perception. No, she's not. She's just a big star. You can't get away from your, your name. She's, she's getting mad she's at her. She's you. She's in the dress room doors like this is about yeah. Nala. This Nala. Is- <laughs> Change the title. <laughs> the Lion Queen. Queen. This is the Lion Queen <laughs> now. Simba who? <laughs> Simba's gonna die with Dad, and I'm taking over. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to that movie, to be honest with Which you. Which one? The Lion the King? The Lion King. I'm not. I haven't... I'll confess, I haven't seen any... I don't think I've seen any live-action Disney movies. The, re- the reason, I think I'll, the first one I'll see is The Lion King. The, the reason I'm not excited about it is I was so disappointed with Jungle Book. Mm. They ru- they ruined my favorite character. Really? R- ruined him. I forgot the, They didn't do the song. They did do the song. It, oh, they did yeah, do the song. Yeah, yes, because I went back and YouTube it. They did do the song. Okay. They... It wasn't the same song. They didn't have the little the little monkey following him around, annoying him, whistling. Mm-hmm. And I hate Christopher Walken's voice. Oh, okay. I cannot stand listening to him talk. And that's what it was. Was and, he the narrator in the movie? He or? was. He was King Louis. He was King oh. Louis. He was King Louis' voice. And yeah, listening cool. to him sing, but it wasn't really singing. It was just him talking mm-hmm. the song. Yeah, just it made me mad. Right, and. My feelings for when I for when I saw it in the theaters. Um, On your as, birthday, right? I, yeah, it was like three or four year, three or four birthdays ago up in Denver. Yeah, you know, I was super upset about it, and then I watched, and then I went back to to see if they actually did do the song, and they did, mm-hmm. and those feelings came right back, <laughs> and I was super <laughs> that, mad, and I just good. threw my phone. Yeah, I didn't want anything to do with it. I was, I was so, over it. I'm not excited about Lion King, though. I might see that, but Mulan. 
Mulan is my favorite Disney movie. So she's next. She's why next is that? Up. Wait, wait, wait. Why is that your favorite Disney movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. First of all, I like the music a lot. The music's pretty yeah. cool. Nice. Second of all, like I just feel like the meaning behind it, like she's defending her dad. Her dad, they want her dad to go to war. He's injured. He doesn't have any sons. So like the history behind it, and then I mean overall, is this a good movie? But I like the kind of the message behind it. Like she's admirable. So I've always liked But from it. what I understand they're getting so far away from the cartoon. Really? Like they're taking one of the main characters out. Who's that? I can't remember the name. Oh, okay. I, he he'd have to give me the list of the names. He's the fan. Yeah. Now Mulan, that's my favorite. But there but from what I understand it's like we were talking about it at work and it literally came down to well they should just call it a something else. The Shaolin, you know, just a <laughs> yeah. you know, just a <laughs> just a just a you know chick samurai movie yeah you know and it's not even mulan because they're getting so far away from it like, karate girl yeah samurai girl samurai girl. samurai Eddie chick. Murphy played the dragon like it was oh all, yeah all Mushu. Wrong. i think his career blew up because of mulan because ever since then he was just collecting checks from shrek just doing the donkey's voice and i was like you sound exactly like you did in mulan you're just you're better like you have an attractive like voice animation voice like voice yeah voice. he does have a great animation yeah. voice like, like 10 years you're later. also funny on tv as you know as a person but you have an amazing like animation voice yeah. there is no money like kid money okay? there isn't when you start getting into those like ice cube did are we there yet like once you start getting into the, the kid money you're mm -hmm. set you're set even like you see like guys like little bow wow and these guys when they were rapping they were still kids it would kill. And as you become an adult, people don't really want to want yeah. you to change the, the content Your message you change. don't have a big yeah. following. So, Not a kid no more. So when they do live actions, maybe they should do kid actors. Like an actual actual kid Little Mermaid. An actual kid Simba. Right. An actual child Nala. Yeah. Instead of these grown-ups. Well, because we know you're forty something. <laughs> I think uh, I think in some cases, in like instances when they have like flashbacks or something, um, they just have like younger actors that just come in briefly. But I I know what you're saying. Like yeah. Beyonce's a bigger star; she'll definitely get more of the I bet you'd give credibility. Us backlash if Black Ariel was a little girl. Nobody, you know, no one would be <laughs> killing her online. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, not everybody. But I mean, so the so the backlash would be amazing if we knew the you know the the black aerial whatever and then they changed it to little kids yeah and brought in a little white girl mm-hmm yeah that would <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy I, how, how, how all the things going around the world and people are mad about a fictional a black fictional character that's people are licking ice cream and putting it no we in turned it. the leaf already i think black ariel was last saturday i think this saturday it's about uh rating area 51 oh yeah i think that's Dude. what's trending see and that's what's crazy about the world is social media just how fast like quickly things aren't you know popularized anymore yeah. because i i agree with jason it's nothing to like you know water down or like because it is a big deal you know the matter of you know ethnicity or you know race or color being played in you know a disney film thing that's uh fictional you know things that aren't real but we're applying them to real life we're wasting that real energy yeah. on that but now we're past that because now people want to raid area 51 and are making memes about it and when, hilarious jokes when are we leaving i'm in, uh, I'm in. if we I'm take good. one of the if we can take like multiple shuttles with the with the kids to over there i think we'd be good so so field trip so dude so, field trip <laughs> if you guys can just inform me about this area 51 i'm, I'm kind of so you know what area 51 is uh, it's in New Mexico. It's the alien the Air Force. I'm surprised, that, Jason, because you have social media and this this, does, is, no, 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 this no, no, has no. been blowing up. Don't get it twisted. He oh, does, you're not. He does not do social media. Oh, you don't. No, nah, not like. Everybody. I just I got do, actually back on Facebook, so. I do it, but not like everybody else. Like, yeah. Oh, no, really. neither do I, man. I don't even have the app on my phone. When I go home, I have another like iPad. Mm -hmm. So Area 51 is the, is the top secret military base in New Mexico, where supposedly there's alien life forms and it's super top secret. Right. We want to know, man. And so the 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 idea behind it is Yeah. You know, if we it's got a, true. if we got a million people, they I'm can not, they can only kill so I'm many not, of us. Yeah. 
you know. I'm out. This, this is why I'm out, okay? As humans, we're not even on the same page. Look at us with Ariel, <laughs> Black Ariel. We're not even on the same page. Just imagine, Disney just imagine if, just imagine yep. if, they, just imagine if these stupid white people found out aliens were green. Yeah. Yep. We, we don't even like our. Most They're supposed like to be gray. <laughs> They're supposed to be gray aliens. Exactly. Who found these green aliens? <laughs> these aren't like ours. <laughs> these aren't the ones we want. <laughs> these are not American aliens. Most people don't like the president. We're not even a fan of all the races here that we know about. And now we're gonna. And uh, now we're trying to find new life forms. Yeah. Just, <laughs> to judge them just, and like backlash them. Yeah, just be friends with somebody new <laughs> here in the states, here around your area, and then we'll venture off into the like, alien. Alien world. Like no, I'm not. On, me out. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. On, I'm not on Facebook right now, searching out these. Uh these areas and i'm not either like i said i'm barely but on have, the facebook app all, that's all i've seen but i have amazing friends who are sharing them and yeah so I get, I get to read them too and and the and the best one was i think it, it was one that you shared today it was the uh you know on snapchat you can, yeah. you can see people's location <laughs> <laughs> dude there was there was a lot of cars from nashville all the way down to louisiana it was the area 51 yeah we're like we're on our way boys so like it said something in the caption i was like that Oh, that was by far the best one. Uh, had to be. Mr. Steven uh, is sharing a lot of them. And typically, I'm not a fan of anything that he posts, but I've been laughing at his. Yeah, no, I'm mm. out. I don't want no parts of it. I'm good on it. Why, though? I, I told you, like, can we like each other <laughs> first? Like, I, I do like a, you. I, you know, we like each other, us three, but as, yeah. like, as a country, can we like each other first before we start going into alien? Again, we're we're having debates about the color of a mermaid. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> a, fake, a fake mermaid. That's just, very let's true. Let's just get back to the bottle cap challenge and do something like that. Like, let's just. But that's crazy. I feel like that's how unfortunately our young country works. It's just that we come together to like bully like another group. And like that's when we love each other. That's when like we got each other's back. No, I'm being serious. And you know, I I have friends of all different nationalities, races, you know, ethnicities and stuff. But I feel like as soon as like 9/11 happened, it was oh, just we're all friends. Yeah, we're all friends. We we only don't like the guys who did this to us. Mm -hmm. We're all hurting. Like this is who we hate now. But I love you. We're brothers. I love you. We're brothers. Like like we we have to stand together. But we don't like them no more. And it's just like, but but why did it take something? Why did it take pain for us to have to say that in the first place? Why couldn't we just like already be doing that? Breaking my own rules and <laughs> kicking, kicking the equipment. <laughs> but um, I don't know. No, and, you're right. And I feel like this is like something that's, you know, turned into a joke. But I feel like it'd be the same thing. Like uh, we'd be so scared of like the unknown, you know, extraterrestrial life. The fact that this is picking up momentum in like the media yeah is hilarious to me like they're writing news stories on this stuff mm -hmm. right like that's the best part about it yeah that's what, that's what makes it the funniest is media is taking this serious yeah nobody's going to storm area 51 <laughs> hey right. but they have something to be concerned about though uh, yeah. but like you said like Other no who's really gonna do it nobody but also the fact that the type of power that internet does have because there's even jokes too like uh you know the the only six guys who show up and they're just like six random guys getting beat up like in a picture <laughs> or something but it's because like people actually might go yeah like, for sure yeah we, we were just waiting yeah, we were waiting, the, <laughs> yeah we, we, just... we were waiting for the rest of the caravan to get here and that, they got us yep but dude i'd be down to meet some aliens though that'd be cool i think aliens are real mm. tell the truth man i mean it's i think it's a tell matter me, tell me how you really feel honestly i i don't you don't i do not i do not think there's other life forms i feel like there are other life forms I, possibly I, I mean do i care enough no but i think if if i had to put money on it i would say yeah maybe in these other planets there's something hmm. other than human other than human why i would say yes why do we have to be the anomaly type thing yeah look how many like there are animals that crossbreed here and be, become something completely different so why like a liger yeah, there we go. <laughs> you know what a liger is? A uh, tiger and a lion mix. <laughs> oh, yeah. Napoleon Dynamite was yeah. drawn one in that movie. Yeah, it's oh, half, yeah, that's right. half lion, half tiger. Yeah, so. It's a liger. It's it's bred for wow. its... Uh, <laughs> skills and magic. Yep, or something like it's that. bred for its skills and magic. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what we need to get. That's what... I think Hollywood needs to to focus on is quit doing these reboots. Oh, uh, quick quick recap. I did not like the new Chucky reboot movie. Terrible. Okay, perfect. Netflix movie. Stop doing. Oh, 
Made for TV. <laughs> made for TV. Yeah, so we'll, we can see that on Lifetime in a couple of months, Jason. We don't have to. Probably. But anyways, I hate these new reboots. I'm starting to hate these live actions. They need to get into just the stupid comedies, like the Napoleon Dynamites, like the Nacho. I like Libras. that comedy. It was like a and like just, a, like an independent type right. film, and but just it was funny. Make me laugh again. You know, but they're not going to make money. That's the reason why they don't do that. Even like the. The comedy movies that used to kill, like all the Will Ferrell movies used to be, just be awesome. Not funny. Really? I hate Will Ferrell. Oh, okay. You hate him too? I'll, cause he's funny. Yeah, like I don't movies, hate him. Movies I don't like hate that aren't even that, they're not even like funny. Like there's no real comedies like that anymore. Yeah. So they do the reboots cause they know you already got a following. Yeah. So you reboot it. People are going to at least see it to see if, it's like the Cowboys. You're going to at least see it to see if you fail or pass. Like, <laughs> That's I'm, I'm true. Gonna, I'm going to watch just to see if you I love seeing the Cowboys fail. fail. Exactly. It's my favorite thing on Sunday night football season. They're my favorite live action reboot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a weekly reboot. It's a reboot, yeah. yeah a I like yearly it. Uh, reboot of a failing team. Yeah. Every The last 25 years, it's been beautiful. <laughs> Keep going. What, they, what I want to see is more Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson movies. Oh, no. Um, no. He dude, said, oh, no. I would much. Man. Dude. You just no. said you like Will Ferrell movies. I like, no, I, I did. Like, I, I stopped. Like, I don't like Daddy's Home. Like, those movies. Like, after Other Guys, I think I was good. Like, Other Guys, like, him and Mark Wahlberg. I'm a big Mark Wahlberg fan, so. But, no, Kevin Hart needs to just just take a break. Just step away I for just, a little bit. Just just a good two years. Just, I don't want to see you. I don't want to I think in, in cases like that, he only is, like, a one-dimensional actor. But that's but, 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 but that's the genre that you like. That, that's just comedy. I just think the two feed well off each other, and I like seeing The Rock make fun of uh, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, yeah. yeah. Can they just stop making The Rock? Like, I don't know. What, which movie are you talking about? Anything? See, that's what I'm saying. Like To me, like since they're in together, all the movies, all their characters are the same. Jumanji was good. Jumanji was good. They were in that cop movie together, right? Uh, CIA. CIA? Yeah. yeah. The, the Rock was like an undercover oh, yeah. agent. And well, Central Intelligence. Central yeah, Central yeah. Intelligence. Yeah, and yeah. Kevin Hart was the basketball star can, in high can school. Can we just stop making The Rock like flamboyant? Like, I feel like The Rock has been like, like, I know Cause him cause yeah. Gay for pay, Jason. It's Hollywood. He's Hollywood now. I know, but like, what was the, What was the movie where he was funny? The, There's a lot like, of them. Not, not funny, haha. Too cool. Yeah, like, exactly, too like, cool. Yes. Or be cool. Be, be cool. cool. Yes. Cool yes. Oh, that's yes, when his yes. acting career was blowing up. Yeah. Bro, Rock probably had to do some things in Hollywood, dude. Mm. Like he's probably. So, I mean, he's a, he's so a, if you ask Mr. Brandon, one of our ex coworkers, <laughs> yeah, you have to do something to get into Hollywood, yeah. and we're not going to get into that here. Okay. But he told one of our kids that. Yeah. Oh, that's who, what he do? Who? No, uh, no, 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 no. That's what famous people do. We, to get oh, famous. oh, that's what when, famous when people you do. Wanna to get get, famous. Because we had a kid who wanted to go to Hollywood. Oh, okay. I think I remember slightly I I, having this conversation at the, at the I'm at pretty the house. sure I've told you this conversation, yeah. but yeah. but Mr. Brandon told him if you want to go to Hollywood, you got to. You gotta do. You, got, you gotta do that. Something strange. You gotta do, change. You gotta. <laughs> yeah. I, and Roy, and, I, I gotta, gotta edit that out. <laughs> uh, but uh, this kid, yeah, had to. Uh, he took it to heart, man. He yeah. was, he was going to everybody. He, yeah. If I want to go to Hollywood, do I have to? Who told you that? <laughs> he goes, oh, "I was Mr. Brandon, like, but dude, you can't tell the you can't tell them that. Yeah, the world." Like, The Rock was just, like, he was whooping everybody. He was, I was a big Rock fan, like, wrestling. So, to see some of the roles, I'm like, you don't ha- I, I know it's, it's comedy, but he, you don't have to make the most hey, but he, masculine that means, person flamboyant for it to be funny. But, it's okay. back to Jason's point on, you know, the cashing in on the, on the family, you know, like, with the kids. I feel like he's cashing in, like, on the the lgt gay queer transgender people stuff like that because you you make him act like that doesn't mean he's necessarily that lifestyle but like oh like i'm comfortable with watching him behave like this like yeah. so i mean he's cash he's cashing out on him being weird like said, in man, any aspect like i said man just make me another napoleon dynamite nacho libre and i'm good I i've never even seen nacho libre nacho yeah, libre is pretty funny yeah we bring it to you Oh uh, no, I'm good. And Napoleon Dynamite. If I never saw that in my life, I would be okay. <laughs> I know you're gonna enjoy it. I did. I loved it. <laughs> I'd be I, good. I loved it. Give me another Water Boy. Can we do a reboot of that? Uh, no, no reboot. No, nah, we can't I, do. I, it. I, I yeah. love the Water Boy. We can it's do so Water Boy too. We can do Water Boy and the Pros. 
Yeah, that'd be cool. Bobby, Bobby Boucher made it to the pros, didn't he? he yeah, like after, like after like after college. So can we, yeah, yeah. so can we can we chronicle his NFL career? Did he make it to the pros? Yes, I don't think he did. at the end it said he was drafted. I thought. No, nah, no, we gotta remember. we gotta go back and, and yeah, look. look at the credits. <laughs> we've, we've got a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple. Bobby Boucher. Google segment. Google segment part two. Yeah, I think he just got married and hung it up. He got married to. Uh, or can we make a movie? Vicky that- Valencourt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so That's real he didn't. He didn't. Uh, I don't know if he went to the league. He should have. Greatest movie athletes. Bobby Boucher. Are well, you asking? Yeah. Well, he didn't go to the league. So what's his greatness? Living up to college. Passing his state exam. Oh yeah. Before the before the uh, Bourbon Bowl. I say separating from his mom, like getting. From beneath, yes, mom's yes, he, he became yes. a man. Yeah, know? yeah, I agree with that. And seeing his dad at the end of the movie was. I think mine would have been. Uh, oh, boyto. <laughs> exactly. Mine would have been uh, Booby Miles from Friday Night Lights, but he tore his nah, ligament. Can't do Booby Miles. So the best <clears throat> movie athlete. Best movie athlete. The real, real movie athlete, or it doesn't matter. Um. Man, wild thing! Wild thing! Oh, uh, from see, from, was, from, yeah. from from Major League. Yeah, that's a that's a, that's a nineties movie too, right? Yeah, yeah. Charlie Sheen. Yeah, yeah and that's a good and movie. and coincidentally, the Major League Two was better than Major League One. I thought so too, which was weird because I had watched both of them randomly one night, and I was just like, mm-hmm. "This one's better than." The but like one. they did, but like they did with Home Alone. Mm-hmm. Back to the minors, major league three, major league three. Back to the minors. Oh yeah, was garbage. Yeah. So you you know you should have quit. quit yeah, while you right. Were ahead. But they rode the success of number two being better than number one. Yeah. And so oh, okay, we can do this. Yeah, one more we'll time. cash out. Yep. So, but yeah, I think I think Rick Vaughn is is my favorite movie athlete. Movie athlete. Yep. Bobby Boucher did not go to. The he NFL. did not get Dang. drafted. Oh, you remember? It? And they're replaying. You remember at the end of the movie? His dad shows up. Yes. Yeah. And he's mad because he's not yes. going to. The okay. NFL. Okay. You're right. You're right. You're right. He, he oh, point. Got, so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got married and, and his mom yeah. tackles him. Yeah that, yeah, yeah. that was the last. He went back to get his degree. Okay. Cool. So he Way passed the state. Bobby. Yeah. Good job, Bobby. Way to go, Bobby. <laughs> So, anyways, man, we're about out of time. We're right at about an hour and five minutes, six minutes, uh, for uh, for a, a show that we pretty much freestyled. Yeah, not too bad, not too shabby. But, uh, anyways, y'all go like, subscribe, share, uh, go check out uh, Top of the Do Chain podcast. Uh, next week we'll be in the studio with the Average Joe's Media. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, it's a couple of dudes up in Dallas. Shouted us out. We shouted them out once, but they got a podcast called "Things You Think You Don't Care About," and they're gonna roll through uh, San Antonio next week and uh, record with us. Cool. And uh, we're gonna record with them. We're just gonna record one show and then just put it on both platforms and okay. kind of go from there. So that's something to look forward to. Y'all go check them out. Average Joe's Media. Uh, things you think you don't care about they're on all the the major media outlets uh just like we are and i just found out the other day we're on iHeartRadio. are we yeah i was gonna ask that yeah i didn't know that's i, I don't know cool. i just kind of stumbled. I, I google i googled us what and we came up on iHeartRadio. radio was like the third do we have a following the, the third option we got a we got a pretty decent following for 14 shows okay yeah you know? that's not bad but uh, this dude that's going to come in and uh, record with us next week, they went from like 150 followers to like over 600 in like a week and a half. Okay. And, he, and he told me how. And I'm fixing to put Ruben onto it. So Ruben's going to. Oh, dude, that's Ru- easy for me. Ru- like, like, Ruben, like, not to brag, but like like networking or like, you know, like Ruben, promoting type stuff. Ruben is going to be that's all day. the initial. Like, so our numbers should start going up. Yeah, for sure, With man. what I'm about to tell Ruben to do. But anyways, y'all go like, subscribe, share, tell all your friends about us. Oh, shout out, shout out. Hold on. Who are we shouting out? <laughs> shout out, shout out. Oh, yeah, let's uh, let's shout out Armando. Because <laughs> we're still on a Joseph yeah. 40 strike? Yeah, we're on a 40 strike. <laughs> okay, so we're having a, a, a fashion show on July the 19th. It's called the Onyx 7 Summer Fashion Showcase. So go ahead and check that out. I guess you can hit us up for tickets if you're if you're interested. You can hit Jason up for tickets because I'm not wow. going to sell you any. 
That's just like that. The promotion is dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, check us out. Your boy wanted to MC. Uh, he, I think, I think, I think he. Uh, <laughs> It's a good thing he did it. You so think you think he did me a favor? I think so. All right, cool. Sound like it. Well, let's see how it goes. We'll get a little recap of it next week. Yeah, for sure. So uh, good luck with that. Can't wait. To Armando, I hope it's great. Zeusy sucks. Wow. <laughs> on air. <laughs> on air. What's the okay. name of our What's the name of our podcast, dude? Highly unapologetic. Highly right. unapologetic podcast. And with that, we'll see y'all next week. <laughs>